Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park, Maryland. One of my hobbies here at the public library is I love to buy laptops on eBay at a very affordable price and then I install Linux and I resell them at the same price I bought them. So I've been doing that with Core 2 Duo computers for the past year or two, but just recently I started buying Core i5s and Core i7s. And Linux installs so fast on some of these computers, I got to wondering, maybe Linux could install faster than four minutes. It could compete against Roger Bannister in the one mile race. And I just bought this Core i7 on eBay. It's an HP uh, EliteBook 8570P. And I am curious to find out whether Linux is going to install in less than four minutes. So we have a foot race today between Roger Bannister, the world record holder in the mile in 1954, against Linux. And I'm installing it from the USB flash drive. I have a SanDisk Extreme USB 3, and it's installing to just a regular hard drive. I could have put in a SSD drive in here, but I decided I'm just going to install it on a regular hard drive and see if it can beat Roger Bannister. So I've set up Linux Mint. We're all ready to start this foot race. This is so exciting. I have a second laptop over here where I have the foot race, uh, and I'll be adding the foot race as a video inset here. So it's Roger Bannister, uh, and it's, uh, he's competing against Linux and um, two other runners. There's Brasher and Chataway. And let's, uh, let's, we're also going to put a timer up on the screen to make this really exciting. I really don't know if Linux is going to win, but I have a hunch it might. So here we go. The foot race is off. Linux is starting to install. And there the gun is off here on, on my second laptop. So the, uh, the gun is off. Um, Brasher is out in front. Uh, this is one of the first times that Linux is actually running a foot race. You know, uh, Linux is a late entrance into this race. And Linux has never competed at the one mile before. So this is so exciting. The crowd, the crowd doesn't know what to expect all of a sudden, it sees an operating system running in this race in 1954. Brasher's out in front. In second place is Bannister and Chataway in third. They are at a fast pace, but they're all looking relaxed. Linux is looking confident and relaxed right there, right in there with the other runners. Um, they are coming around for their first lap. All three are looking relaxed. All four. We got four runners out there. Linux is in fourth place right now, looking very relaxed. And it is Brasher out in front. Their first lap is coming in at under 60 seconds. This is so exciting. Over here on Linux, as I'm looking at the screen, it's installing, um, it's configuring the hardware, it says on the screen. Wow. It's really blazing along. I can't believe how fast Linux is over here. It's installing um, all the different programs, including LibreOffice. Le LibreOffice is going to be installed in this setting. This is so exciting. We're coming on the runners over here. Brasher's still out in front. Uh, Bannister in third and second. Chataway in third. As they come around to the, they're getting ready to come to the halfway mark. Linux is, oh, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it. Linux is almost finished copying all the files onto the hard drive. So it needs to copy the files and then install them. And if it copies the file by the halfway mark, then it is well on the way to beating Roger Bannister in this world record run. Um, over here, I'll just point on the screen. It is almost finished copying all the files, and then it's just a matter of the installation. They've, uh, the runners have finished a half a mile. Oh, I cannot believe this. It says restart now. Linux has, Linux has beaten Roger Bannister in, this is incredible. This is incredible. I, I didn't think it was going to happen this way. Linux has installed in, in two minutes. Uh, Roger Bannister and Chatterway Brasher, they, they don't have a chance. I was thinking that this might be a fair competition, but it's not even a fair competition. Linux has beaten these world record runners. I didn't know, the crowd, the, crowd is, the crowd is on its feet. Linux is taking a victory lap. It's wrapped, its, it's wrapped itself in a penguin flag. and is, Linux has started on its victory lap, and the other runners, the world record runners, are still out there. I cannot believe it. This is just incredible. Linux has installed in two minutes on this uh, HP EliteBook 8570P, and it's already rebooting. 
Linux is rebooting from the install. I did not realize it was going to happen that fast. This is a surprise to me, too. As a color commentator, I was hoping it was going to be a closer race. But um, that's it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting this was all going to be a closer race, but Linux is so blazing fast. And wait a second, wait a second. I see there is an objection. Roger Bannister has stopped running, and he is objecting to the referees, saying that he was expecting to race Windows Vista. He was expecting to race Windows Vista. He had no idea that Linux was going to be on the track today. And so there is an objection that has been placed by Roger Bannister. The excitement is still palpable. We won't know what's going to happen with this story until the referees rule on whether it was fair for Roger Bannister to be competing against Linux today in this foot race here in Oxford, England.